Couch Potato Shopping Channel, Wanda speaking. Uh, I want to buy a diamond. That will be two million dollars. Do you have a major credit card? Um, I have a numbered Swiss bank account. What's the number, sir? Um, it's 846-427-35327. Very good, sir. We'll send the diamond by Pronto Post Lightspeed Delivery immediately. Thank you for calling. Now that's service. I better get this to Dr. Fred right away. That should do it. Where did you get this diamond anyway? Uh, it was donated by a group of Girl Scouts who were in the neighborhood. How heartwarming. Can we bring back my friends now? We've repaired the primary device, but before we can do anything, both time pods must be energized as well. Then we can bring back uh, what's his name and who's her face? Hoagie and Laverne. Yes, fine specimens. Good luck. Who needs luck when you've got beauty? Scratching his back on the fence, I think. Can't get close to him.
nice outfit. Don't bother. You'll just get beat like the rest of them. And so I said to her, that's not my suction cup. <laughs> you think that's funny? Listen to this. Hey, anybody care for a bribe? What do you think we are, human? Ha ha ha! Human. <laughs> Doctor! What is it? Is someone sick? We can't have sick humans in the show. Well, uh... <laughs> I examined them all myself. They're all perfectly healthy looking to me. Except for the dead one. Now leave me alone. When are you guys going to judge best hair? Oh, all right. As usual, no one competes with Harold. Agreed. Hello, my silent gauze-wrapped friend. I really should go now. Call me sometime, okay? Judge best left. <laughs> oh, all right. Okay, who's got a joke? Hey, I just flew in from Baltimore, and boy, are my suction cups tired. <laughs> oh, classic. <laughs> I think our mama friend picked up a sense of humor somewhere. Yes, but Harold still tops him. Oh, of course. Harold wins hands down. But if it weren't for Harold, I'd let the mummy have it. Agreed. Keep up the good work, you judges, you. I don't wanna. I won't be able to get it very clean without soap. all sudsy now. Nothing to clean in here. Thumb 
Andrón. Looks like a big storm. See, this is why I never wash my car. Hey, Ben. Oh, it's you. Where are you going? What about your experiment? Even science sometimes gets cold on account of rain, my boy. But how are you ever going to get lightning if you're not going to stand out in a storm? To be frank, which I am, I don't know. The science of electrodynamics, much like your mind apparently, is still in a state of relative infancy. Back to the drawing board, I say. What a genius. I don't understand that technical stuff. Hey, what's that on the plans? It looks like a secret backwards message. Oh, it's just a coffee stain. Hi. Sorry, can't talk. Busy making history. That doesn't need a battery. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. That doesn't need a battery. Hey! Only employees are allowed to use that lab coat. What's this? Mm, help wanted, moronic drone. Mm. Assist genius, yada yada yada. Well, I'm the only genius around, and you look dumb enough. Uh. So pick up your lab coat and get to work. It looks more like a raincoat than a lab coat. I got something good for you, mister. Uh, mister. Mr. Brainstorm? Yes, hand it over. Hmm, doesn't this belong to somebody? Yeah, Red Edison. Ah. I'm sorry, but the man has no vision. A lightweight, durable fabric like this going to waste down in his basement. When I'm done with it, it will fly. 
Hmm. Eureka! The all-season Francocopter ready to make history. No, there's no fuse. So, what do I light? For the last time, you're not going to light anything. You just push it. The whole time? How am I going to get up that high? Listen, just wait for me to say the word now. Then push the kite into the air, all right? I'm on you, lasagna. Let's hope so. Now! We. She's handling kind of funny. You got it. Just hang on there. She's too heavy. I can't control her. Hang on, Ben. Hang on. She's breaking up. She's breaking up. Run for your life! Now that was interesting. Yeah. Say, can I see that kite for a second? No, I'm taking it back to my lab in Philly right now so I can study the results. Wish me luck. I never got your name. It's Hoagie, sir. Nice working with you, Hoagie. I promise to name an invention after you someday. Gosh, thanks. I don't wanna. Are you sure we don't need to add anything about hideous, slimy, super intelligent tentacles? Don't be absurd. to the future <laughs> laughed at by a horse whoa I don't think I want this Wow dr. Fred's rich I think it's fake The Chicago Manual of Thermodynamic Flux Induction Circuit Design. Great stuff! The Chicago Manual of Thermodynamic Flux Induction Circuit Design. I bet this would work better than a sleeping pill. Rose. What are you babbling about? You really should have told the judges if you weren't feeling well. Oh, ick! Now how did that mess get in there? I think I'm going to be sick. Someone in here not feeling well? I was feeling fine until I saw that. Is that your regurgitation? 
No, I'm an healthy human. Didn't you just say you thought you were going to be sick? That's just a figure of speech. Do you realize you could have infected the whole show with human influenza? But I just got all my shots. You're a good-looking human, Harold, but you know the rules. You're out of the show. What a mess. I hate cleaning up after humans. Don't you think you should judge best laugh again? Oh, all right. Okay, who's got a joke? I know. Why did the human cross the road? Because his tentacle owner told him to. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! It's amazing how the mummy can do that without moving his lips. I say we give him first place. Agree. Hey, when are you guys going to judge best smile? Oh, all right. Not a bad set of chompers on that blonde. If Harold's not competing, I don't care who wins. Eh, me either. I don't think so. The Chicago Manual of Thermodynamic Flux Induction Circuit Design. I bet this would work better than a sleeping pill. Ahem. The LALR compiler is constructed by the following method. First, develop a rigorous elective grammar. If the elements have NP completeness, the crunchy factor can be ignored. Blah, 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 blah. Whoa. Sometimes I like to eat it raw. It's full of soapy w I don't wanna. I hope this wasn't used in the outhouses. It looks almost real. It must be Ned's. Or is it Jad's? Fascinating. Actually, I'd call this more of a three. <laughs> It's a vibrant cherry red pigment, an enamel, I believe. Neat! I think I could lubricate my car with this stuff. Hmm, brown water. Wow, Dr. Fred's rich. It's a bottle of correctional fluid. Cute little fella. Neat! Spearmint, my favorite. Gum chewing is not behavior fitting for a beauty queen. Hey, don't you think you should judge best smile again? Oh, all right.
I like the quiet one with the big T. There's nothing in the rules about them being white. First place goes to the mummy. Agree. It's all slimy and st Hey, don't you think you should judge best hair again? Oh, all right. has improved. Yes, but it's dull, flat, stringy, lacks body and control. A human's hair should stand up, not stand out. If only it was a little bit better. Do you think you should? Oh, well. Wow, that's the best hair I've ever seen on a mummy. Thick and full and juicy. The mummy wins. Agreed. Well, that makes him best of show. Let's go congratulate him. He is very well preserved. I'll miss his laugh. It's time to give him his winnings and start packing up. We gotta get this whole show to Baltimore by Thursday. Yes, our work here is done. Well, Ted, this is where we <laughs> part ways. You've certainly helped save humanity. Even though you've been <laughs> dead for thousands of years, I think you're my favorite Edison. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think I can put that in the chronojohn. I don't think I can put that in the chronojohn. I don't think I can put that in the chronojohn. Tentacle number one, the almighty elder, the Grand Puma, Purple Tentacle, not to let anyone near this clock. But I have rights. I'm a tentacle. <laughs> and a darn attractive one, I might add. But no one gets to this clock while I'm here. And unless I have to go chase down some escaped humans, I'm glued to this spot. Rats. Dinner for two in Club Tentacle? 
I can't wait to tell my wife. You're free. Free to do what? Free to... to run wild through the woods like humans should. Big deal. I said you're free. Now get off your fat, lazy butts and start enjoying it. Enjoy being hunted for the rest of our lives by that mustached old tentacle with a big net? If we ran off, he'd be right on our trail. If we stay here, we know we'll be warm and comfortable. Outside, we'd be eating bugs and moss. You'll be eating my fist in a second. The woods are filled with wild animals, lions, tigers, and skunks. Man, I hate skunks. Oh, here I go out the door. Oh, I do so enjoy these freedoms that my forefathers fought and died for. Give it up. Sheesh. Can't get close to him. I don't think so. I don't think so. This ought to be good. <laughs> <laughs> 